There's no need for us to get into a massive discussion about why you should wax your chain over using a dry lube or a wet lube or no lube at all in your chain. Um, I've done loads of very detailed videos. I've put a link to some of them here or a playlist at the end of these videos for you to go back and watch. What I want you to do in this video is just talk you through step by step how easy it is to wax your chain and to keep reusing it. Whether you're interested in drive chain efficiency uh, or speed, um, they're one and the same thing. So I want to talk you through step by step how to, to wax a brand new chain, how easy it is and how easy it is to maintain it because I think a lot of people think that it's super complicated, you have to have loads of amazing equipment and it takes loads of time. It genuinely doesn't, so we'll start right here. So obviously you're gonna need a chain. Now I would suggest buying two brand new chains uh, rather than trying to clean an existing chain. I'll explain the reasons behind those, but essentially a brand new chain is far easier to clean. It's gonna cost you a lot less in materials and time. You're gonna need some white spirit. You're gonna need some methylated spirit. And you're also gonna need two clean dry containers that you can clean the chain in. You're gonna need a crock pot. So make sure you don't buy a rice cooker, just a cheap slow cooker. You're also going to need, of course, your wax. Now, I use Molten Speed Wax all of the time now, uh, but I have also used the homemade wax, and also I have this absolute black wax, which looks great, but isn't actually as good as it looks. You're also going to need a swisher tool, which is made out of a coat hanger, which is a simple way of transporting the chain into and out of the crock pot when it's being waxed. So why buy two chains? Well, okay, all of the information and all the knowledge and all of the detail that you're gonna be getting in this video is all Adam Kerrin's work. I will put a link to his Zero Friction site below. Adam Kerrin is a take no prisoners expert on this, completely independent, and runs an amazing research laboratory over in Australia. Now he's discovered that if you re-wax your chain every 200 kilometers, you're likely to get 25,000 kilometers use out of a chain. Now that is almost incomprehensible. If you wax it every 300 kilometers, you'll get 15,000 kilometers. And if you re-wax it every 400 kilometers, you will get eight to 10,000 kilometers use out of it. Now, even at that most extreme end of 400 kilometers or the least, uh, the most distance before re-waxing, it is still a massive amount further than you'll get with even some of the best drip lubes that you and I have probably used over the years. In fact, some of the drip lubes his experimentation has discovered actively seek to wear your chain and therefore your chain set out as quickly as possible by sucking gunk and rubbish in and turning it into a, a wearing paste, whereas wax seals all of those joints from all of the elements, keeps the dust out, keeps the rain out, and makes it all last a hell of a lot longer. Now, of course, if you're gonna be rewaxing your chain every 200 kilometers, for most of us, that's probably once a week. If you do it every 300 kilometers, it's probably nearer every two weeks. If you have two chains, it's just as simple and easy to wax two chains as it is one, so you just have two in rotation that you change every week or every two weeks, and then you rewax them both at the same time. Rewaxing is super simple and takes about an hour to do and it is super, super easy. And for the amount of distance that you will get out of your drive chain and also how much faster you'll be able to ride, it is worth trying to get into the habit of getting this technique down. So there are three main parts to waxing your chain. The first two, you only have to do once. The third one is the repetitive re-waxing of the chain. So part one is completely cleaning the chain, ready to be waxed. Part two is the initial waxing of the chain. And then part three is the re-waxing of the chain, which to be honest with you is exactly the same as part two. It's just you do it more regularly. So let's get stuck into part one, which is completely cleaning and prepping the chain. Now you only have to do this once and it doesn't take long and it's super simple. You don't need an ultrasonic cleaner or anything like that. What we need to do is get all of the storage grease off of the chain. Some people think it's a good lube, it really isn't. It's just there to keep the metalwork intact whilst it's in storage. So we need to completely strip that off so that we can get our wax coating right onto that metal. So first of all, put your brand new chain in a container with about 200 ml of white spirit, give it a really good shake, leave it for 10 to 15 minutes, shake it again, and then safely dispose of the white spirit. All of the substances that we're using here, the white spirit and the methylated spirit, need to be disposed of properly. Then we pour in another 200 mils of white spirit into the container and we shake it for two minutes. After that two minutes up, we dispose of the white spirit properly again. Mm -hmm. 
After that, we repeat B. 200 mils of white spirit in the container, shake it for two minutes, pour the white spirit away. Next step, put the chain in a new container, add 200 mils of methylated spirit and shake that for two minutes. Once you've removed the methylated spirit from that, we just repeat that step again. 200 mils of methylated spirit in the container, shake it for two minutes, dispose of the methylated spirit, and now you have a prepped chain. You don't have to do that stage anymore. Everything's cleaned off of it and it is ready to be waxed. So, part two, waxing the chain. Put your wax in a slow cooker on low heat and then put the clean chain on a swisher tool made from an old wire coat hanger. When the wax is melted, swish the chain around vigorously for 10 to 20 seconds and then leave it fully submerged in the wax for about an hour on a low heat. After an hour, give the chain a swish again, remove it and hold it over the pot to collect the drips. Wearing gloves, because it's gonna be hot, remove the chain from the swisher tool and hang it from the end link to dry. Now, it will drip and the wax adheres to things really well when it's melted. It's one of the things that makes it such a good lube, but you don't wanna get it on the floor, so make sure you put something underneath it. Once it's cooled and hardened, and that will take about 10 to 15 minutes, roll the chain over a bit of pipe or a broom handle. I use the handle from my tool chest. Uh, to break up the hard links. Then put your chain on the bike, making sure the cassette, jockey wheels and chain rings are immaculately clean beforehand and you're ready to go. As a side note, don't wax the master links. It makes them very hard to get on properly and safely and the wax transferred to the cassette and the rest of the drive chain is enough to lube that master link. So I said there are three stages and the third one is super simple and you've done it before. It's what you'll do every two, three or 400 kilometers depending on how long you want your drive chain to last and it is really easy. You pop your chain off. If it's been used in pretty crappy weather in uh, the rain or dust and grit and cr crap like that, you've used it on your cross bike or mountain bike, you need to give it a soak in some boiling water. Put it on the swisher tool, give it a swish around in some boiling water and then do the next stage. If your chain's been used in fairly dry weather through the summer, then you can just skip to this stage, which is essentially the waxing stage. You put your slow cooker on low, you put your chain on the swisher tool, you leave it to melt in there, swish it around, leave it for an hour, swish it around again, put it straight back on your bike. It is that simple. If you've got two chains, you can just rotate these every two, three or 400 kilometers. And that folks is it, it's that simple. Now, as I said before, if you want to get into the detail as to why it's worth doing this and the science behind it and how this will help your drive chain last longer or make you ride faster, because they're one and the same thing, please do make sure you watch this, uh, these playlists up here. But essentially, this video is just simply an overview of how easy, easy it is to take a brand new chain, prepare it by cleaning it, waxing it the first time, and then simply popping it off, giving it a swish in boiling water if you need to, or just popping it back in your crock pot and re-waxing it. Super simple. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please hit the notifications bell below. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below if you've just converted to waxing or uh, it's something you're thinking of. If you are dead set against it, why have you watched the video? But if you're dead set against it and want to keep using your dry uh, or wet lubes, then leave a comment below, let me know why, because I, thought it was complicated, I thought you needed specialised equipment until I really did some digging in this. Uh, I spent years looking into it and I have, I'm a complete convert because it is so, so simple. Thanks for watching the video, I will see you on the next one.